Long before Timeless AT23612, there were other AIs. They were prototypes, tests. You were shocked when one among thousands developed a powerful trait. Hope. Benjamin and his father climbed between the rocks. If they moved fast enough, they could probably see the fountain before darkness fell. Benjamin had brought sandwiches especially. Sandwiches? They had no crusts. Benjamin's father insisted on that. They were meticulously crafted, packed away in neat boxes. For as many cycles as he could remember, Benjamin had made the climb with his father. Every time, the glow felt closer, more tangible. Glowing Benjamin fountain. hoped that one day, he'd be able to reach out and touch it. Welcome back to Towns Alone! Um, free DLC was released onto Steam, and I figured, why not give it a look? So, this is Thomas. Us alone, Benjamin's Flight. We'll see, we'll see, you'll see soon why it's called Flight. But anyways, these first levels are pretty basic, 1,831 cycles later. What that means exactly, I don't really know. But, it's what? Benjamin ran. His father had sent word that it was ready. That it was actually done. <gasps> it is ready. Let's be vague, because then it builds suspense. There had been a few misfires. Benjamin had seen the rectangle who tested Mark 26. More of a trapezium now. I honestly don't know what shape trapezium is. I know what a trapezium is. Oh, it's it kind of obvious, but I don't think I know what a trapezium is. I'm gonna look that up sometime. Jetpack! The jetpack was glorious. Benjamin's father motioned to the switches he'd made, told him to fly to them. Slowly, though. Okay, am I the only one who thinks he looks like he's just farting? <laughs> Sorry, that's just. That's just my first thought. I'm sorry for ruining the moment, but that's just what I'm Benjamin seeing. ignored him, of course, hitting the sequence as quickly as possible. He was dying to test this out properly, to fly to the fountain. Fly me to a fountain. So, anyways, we put in the sequence and fly. Oh boy. This is where it gets tricky. Just a quick flight up to the fountain. Benjamin was sure his father wouldn't mind. The locked doors were uh, a precaution. The spike walls, a friendly reminder to be aware of his surroundings. Okay then, whatever you say, Benjamin, to get your mind off things. This that is combination <laughs> lock on the jetpack had, after all, been Exceptionally easy to guess. These are probably the hardest jumps in this whole entire DLC right here. Yes, I, I kind of went through this just to check, but this is the hardest one. Might be the hardest jump right... Oh, there you go, got it. Oh, good, because I was stuck in there before for a long time. And nothing was really that interesting when you're stuck in the exact same jump the whole entire time. I mean, the jetpack is interesting, but it feels like you have to tap it and just, like, guide it slowly back and forth a lot more than you should. Anna was done. Done. The fountain had sounded like a great idea when she started. An adventure. And more importantly, it was an adventure she could have alone. Anna was alone. Anna was alone, not Anne. There you go. Anna was alone. Could make it haunt her new game based on her. This is Anna was alone. She guides through spikes and But she hadn't been alone. Oh well, scratch that. And they had seen her. Let's be more vague as to build suspense of what that means. Playing a pronoun game. People like playing this pronoun game. If they if you're gonna say he was bothered, he was worried. Well, I snap, that makes no sense. 
Hey, back to Benjamin and his farting jetpack. Benjamin was getting good at this. They could fly. It was important to stay focused, though. He had a fountain to get to. Ah, yes. Ah, oh, boy. We got spikes now. And this is an annoying level, because you kind of have to time tapping a jetpack. Time tapping and jump keys in really small spaces. You can, of course, like, land. When get the... to the fountain, touch it, get home for dinner. His father wouldn't even notice he'd gone anywhere. Oh yeah, that yeah, because that's that's always true. They never noticed anything. No. no. Oh boy. Now we got like we ah. This is really annoying because it's like tap tap tap. Nope. You have to like awkwardly tap and like hover. Nope. In these spots, like, it's like you can't go too far down, and you can't go too far up. Yeah, there we go. It, it's a lot of balancing for some of these puzzles. It's kind of annoying. The rectangle seemed remarkably unimpressed by Benjamin's jetpack. <gasps> she didn't even ask about it. She just kept looking up and muttering about clouds. Yeah. Initially slighted. Benjamin decided that this was a passing disinterest, and she'd come round eventually. You don't like jetpacks. Freaking oh, jetpack! Who wouldn't want a jetpack? When you can fly, when you can fly. Ah, duh. Welcome to the new mechanic. Propel other people with jetpacks. Anna tried to talk the obnoxiously single-minded Square out of his plan. Why don't you want to do that? She should have left him, taken the next portal home, and forgotten about that big spluttering machine he kept motioning at heroically. But we gotta be heroic. We gotta be brave. We gotta save the day, even though they really need saving at this point. And we're back to guiding. They were halfway to the fountain. Oh. It occurred to Benjamin that his father would have become aware of his absence by now. Benjamin hoped that he'd be forgiven. You know, the folly of youth. Are you like blaming your youth? Father had worked so hard on the jetpack. Don't break it then. Don't break it, you'll be all fine. Water! Whoa! Anna tried again. Kids are not listening. She told Benjamin about the blinding light of the fountain, of the clouds which had defended it. She begged him not to carry on. And you blinded by the He light. laughed it off. He wasn't afraid of clouds, so however pixelated they were, he could fly above them or swoop to avoid them. Scared her. <laughs> Boo! Uh, no, not exactly, but. I feel like being afraid of boarding anything as clouds really doesn't send fear down anyone's spine.